I'm Charles Welby and with the latest batch of Electronic Arts news, this is EA Update. Need for Speed Most Wanted is almost upon us and Criterion Games have unleashed their latest gameplay video, showcasing the game's open world gameplay. In the video, producer Hamish Young kicks things off by burning rubber in an Aston Martin V12 Vantage and quickly finds himself a jackpot where he jumps into a Mercedes-Benz SL65 AMG Black Series. He then adds himself some mods to get the competitive edge via the Easy Drive menu. As you can see, it's easy to keep an eye on what your friends are doing via the personalised billboards powered by Autolog 2. One thing's for sure though, they may not stay your friends for long. A new blog post has appeared online from Maxis discussing creating international cities in SimCity. In the blog, art director Eugene Wong discusses the European city sets included within the digital deluxe version of SimCity, whereby simply placing down a global landmark will transform your city to match the look and feel of that nation's landmark, which means you can make yourself a little London, Paris or Berlin to have your mayoral way with. The blog also talks about which landmarks they chose and why, so if you want to know more, click the link to read all the info for yourself at your leisure. Mass Effect 3 Leviathan is available now for Xbox Live, PSN and Origin Client. The new piece of single-player DLC lets you explore the galaxy further to find the truth behind a shocking theory that could change things dramatically when it comes to fighting those pesky Reapers. New weapons to play with include the AT-12 Raider shotgun and M55 Argus assault rifle. And you'll also get to go all James Cameron by plunging Commander Shepard into some watery depths. Let's just hope that Atlas Mech can handle the pressure. A live action trailer for FIFA 13 has just begun kicking about on the web and this time it's a little bit different from what you'd expect. The trailer features some gameplay footage but mostly follows FIFA players and fans as they join the club. You may spot a few famous faces in there doing some things you wouldn't expect. Click on the link if you want to check out the 90 second trailer in full. And finally, the latest Inside Dice blog is live right now, and this time senior environment artist Andrew Hamilton talks us through creating the environments for Battlefield 3 Armoured Kill. In a shift from tall buildings and close quarters fighting, Armoured Kill takes us to the biggest Battlefield maps ever created. So this time the creative focus shifts to terrain, vegetation and lighting. Andrew discusses close-up detail as well as the look of the landscape in the distance, such as mountains, making the levels feel more expansive and immersive, and tuning the terrain to make it truly unique in each of the four maps. You can read the blog in full via the link on screen now. Well, that's it for EA Update this week. Don't forget to subscribe, that way we'll join you next week with more news and you won't even have to lift a finger except to click on the video. Bye.